The removal of a dining parklet in Carpinteria has left a bad taste in the mouth of a business owner who came to work to find it all torn down. News Channel senior reporter John Palmentary joins us live. And John, the city says it put out notices for weeks in advance. It's been particularly uncomfortable here in front of the Nutbelly restaurant where you have a business owner that had outside dining here in Carpinteria in the heart of summer and a city ordinance that said it all had to be taken out by the end of June. Tuesday morning, the outside dining park lit at Nutbelly Pizzeria on Linden Avenue in Carpinteria was torn down and left in a pile. The owner was shocked and unable to go on camera, but she said she had hoped to work with the city on an extension beyond a hard deadline. The city council wanted the variety pack of parklets removed in town by that deadline of June 30th. It was discussed at council meetings, emails and letters went out, and in this case, an extension went past the deadline by two weeks and a few days. Other city groups have been trying to make the transition understandable to all businesses in what's called the T, or Linden, and Carpentry Avenue cross. And there was nearly full compliance. Yeah, the city has been working on this for over a year, and they've been very proactive. They've come to the Downtown Tea Business Advisory Board meetings with prototypes, with designs. They've done presentations at city council meetings. The current plan, like the one Esau's restaurant is using, is for the city to buy an approved, well-designed parklet, and the business pays just $80 a month for it instead of thousands of dollars up front to order one. Nutbelly is in line for one, but there's a gap between the deadline to get the old one out and the new one arriving. Even though this parklet has been removed, another one is on order as part of the city's program, but it's not going to be here for at least a month, which only adds to the pain for the business owner, which could use all this area for seating in the heart of summer. The city says sidewalk tables are already permitted here and some were out today. Other businesses, including Brassbird on Carpinteria Avenue, is waiting for a parklet too, and we've learned three other business applications are in. But if Nutbelly was given any more time... Uh, there was a little bit of a concern about favoritism and about how we tell somebody that they had a hard deadline of June 30, but yet they look across the street and they see somebody that still has theirs up. And I know the city was very worried about the optics of that, yeah. and so I think that played into it as well. The city says it's carried the cost for the new parklets on order. It paid for the removal and disposal of this one at Nutbelly and is not trying to negatively impact businesses. It just wanted safe, approved outside dining because many businesses and community leaders say it works. The other businesses that had the parklets up during you know the COVID era that wanted to keep it up, they saw their business boom because of it. And we all love outdoor eating, right? Especially when the weather's nice. In the meantime, the city staff is meeting with business leaders to talk about what happened and pro-business solutions from City Hall going forward. And for now, this outside area is going to be reverted back to regular parking, but in September approximately, they're expecting it to be that city-approved parklet once again. And there are some other applications, and the city wants to help those businesses financially as well. The money just isn't in the budget, so they're going to talk about that in August. As for Nutbelly, they are open. They're making pizzas and sandwiches and ready for dinner. And they do have outside tables like this one here and those over there on the sidewalk right here on Linden Avenue this evening. Reporting live in downtown Carpinteria, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary.